got to my staging point. I'm noticing white caps on the lake, so I'm gonna hang tight for a little while. Went for a little walk already. Um, I noticed there's a nice big machinery <laughs> at the beginning of the logging road, and I wish I owned that so that I could go down the road in it. But uh, anyways, we'll wait it out. Um, we're not we're not suffering. It's starting to rain a little bit too, so yeah, we're just gonna have a relaxing fun day. So it's Saturday, May, no, Saturday, June 25th. Um, I drove up to the staging spot about an hour ago and uh, there's nobody around. And also I um, don't want to go on the lake right now. There's white caps on the lake and I'm just not feeling it right now. I'm feeling like sitting around on my truck. So I'm really tired. I haven't slept for a few nights. I uh, was too excited on Thursday night. Thunderstorm happening as well. So I was like, <gasps> gotta watch that. And then I was wishing I was out in the wilderness to see it and to, to hear it or experience it. And uh, then um, Friday night, of course, I just didn't sleep because I made a huge error on Friday. I packed up my stuff from my from one home and I uh, left my fridge groceries in my car. So I drive out to the beach and notice my fridge groceries are not there. So Saturday morning I had to drive all the way back for fridge groceries because they were sitting in the car and if the car was gonna be hot for two weeks well I don't think the sour cream would have smelled very good when I opened the door so anyways um I'm just waiting for the wind to calm down a little bit I don't really care if I'm stuck here for the night I'm just enjoying the the trees blowing I'm just I'm here I'm here <laughs> anyways Well, I'm glad I stayed put for a little bit because you can see the storm clouds coming in. Um, I don't know, I could end up sleeping in my truck tonight or in the back of it. Because I wouldn't mind at all. What's the matter, Tika? I wouldn't mind at all. It doesn't bother me. I'm out here now and I'm going to have a cider. I just ate a grapefruit. Yes, I'll clean it up. And, uh, yeah. If it starts pouring rain, I'll have to dump my cider and go sit in my truck, so. So, now it's raining out. I'm kind of glad I waited. I would have uh, got caught in the rain. I just didn't feel like it today. I wasn't feeling the rain. I am now, but. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. We'll let this blow over. I think there's blue sky to the west, and, uh. Going, going eastbound. And if it gets dark before I feel okay to go, then I'm just going to sleep in the truck tonight. So, I had a nap. I felt great. I woke up. And the sun was shining. And I looked to the west. There was no clouds. I was joyful. I started undoing my canoe from the roof. And then, pouring, I didn't look above me, at the cloud above me. It just opened up me like you wouldn't believe. So, canoe is still on the roof. And it looks like blue sky, actually, on its way. And I did look above me this time, so. <laughs> but I'm hoping to get on the water pretty soon. Um, All right, I have things loaded up. Or I have things unloaded from the truck. Now i got to load up the canoe. Um, I know of a couple of good spots on this lake, so I won't have to portage today. At least I'll be able to set up camp and hopefully get out of the impending rain. Um, <laughs> yeah, 
only 86 portages I'll have to do, so that's great. Um, I have a three kilometer portage to do, so I got a set of wheels for my canoe. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> That's me packing my canoe. Yes, I have too much. Um, I'm used to comfort camping on a canoe trip and uh, because of injuries, I haven't been on a canoe trip for a long, long time. I've been canoe camping and I've been with other, you know, like a few other people at a time. Um, I want to go back to tripping by myself. So it's beautiful out there. So I'm not going to push myself too much today. I've already lost about four hours with the rainstorm and gladly I stayed in my truck and I, I'm okay with that. So um, I'm going to find a spot on this lake. I know where a couple of good ones are and uh, yeah, probably check back in at that point because um, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to get this oven running while I'm canoeing. So anyways, ta-ta! Well, I'm on the canoe. Um, the wind's blowing me. It's great. <laughs> I feel like I have a sail up here or something. But uh, yeah, I'm starting to turn where I want to. Yeah. So I'm going to find a spot on this lake. The wind is horrible. It's at my back, which is great, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's very tempting to crop or to portage into the next lake. It's, that wind would push me all the way down the lake. But we'll see. <laughs> well, it would be great to find a camp spot around this area. Uh oh, I'm on a rock. <laughs> It'd be great to find a camp spot around this area because the wind is not crazy and uh, it's just so calm in here. It's just so beautiful that is. Yay! But uh, I should have had my GPS out because there's an island here that uh, probably has shelter in the spot where you can throw a tent up. So I didn't plan that very well, did I? So anyways, paddle on. <laughs>
fireplace with glass in it. And we have a nice little bedding area. We'll see if we can set this up. What I like the best is there's trees there and there. And we could probably put a tarp across to keep ourselves sheltered tonight. And the tent's going to go up in a pretty close to the fire spot. So I am going to um, probably put a tarp around the tent so it doesn't get sparks on it. So, But the only bad thing about this spot is like there's just no wood around. <laughs> It's like all burnt out a little so we're gonna have to I saw a bunch of uh, dead wood over I don't know if you can see yeah, where's my finger even that way that way dead wood there so we'll uh, we'll get the tent set up and uh, oh and we'll um yeah go from there take care of this side of camping. Yeah. some things together because you have too much.
Okay. Cheers to one of my favorite vloggers, Steve Wallace. Um, I just got my tent up and this is step 16 for me. <laughs> Anyways. I'm here. <laughs> I have a cup of bed set up. I'm going to have to get the dog some food. They saw cheese. They love cheese. Um, what else? Dogs need food. I need food. I'm going to just relax for a bit. I'm glad I'm not in the big, huge wind tunnel. But I'm glad to be in... Well, it was a little breezy and now it's over breezy. So, anyways. Having a good time. Wow. Look at that rainbow. That is so magnificent. Double rainbow. I don't know if you can see the second one. Not really. Oh wow. Oh, there's the other side of it. Can't see that either really. But wouldn't it be great if there was no rain for a couple of weeks while I'm on my holidays? That is so freaking amazing. Well, all I'm eating today is wieners. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Smokies, and uh, you're really good. Just have them burning on the fire. Well, not, they're not burning, but crisping, fire kissed, and uh, having a cider. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for tonight. I'm going to. Uh, oh, there goes the protector. I think there's a beaver over there or something. But, um, yeah, I'm going to have something to eat. I'm going to finish my cider. I'm going to pack stuff up properly for overnight. And then uh, um, I still have to get my, my tent, well, my tent's up, but I still have to get all of my uh, sleeping bag and stuff ready. I should have had my Thermarest already out and, uh, what is it called? Self-inflating. But. Oh well, I wanted to get a fire going and eat some supper and after I finish this smoky, I'm gonna probably split the other one in half with the dog, so I better get that off of there. So anyways, we'll chat later. It's been a great day. So one thing that I do on all my trips is I bring my little transponder. It's the probably oldest device for transponding that I know of. I got it when it was fresh off the market because my mom and dad used to worry about me out in the wilderness, so um, I still keep it now so my family knows where I am. Mom and dad are long gone, but uh, my kids are watching me. So both those lights should start blinking. And I'm just going to set it out on the... No, no, Kalila. Just going to set it out there and let... Uh, let it send a message um, and basically it's me checking in telling everybody I'm okay that's on my list so yeah I know they appreciate it so whoa oh, what a beautiful evening this turned out to be look at that look at that well uh, day one's a wrap. Um, I had a great day. It didn't get started out as quickly as I wanted it to. We made it here just in time before, well, it did start raining when I was setting up the tent and the tarp, um, but not enough that I got soaked or anything. Um, I'm in my PJs now, nice and dry and warm. Uh, dogs are settled in the tent. Um, they're nice and dry and warm. Uh, we had a, well, they split a smoky and I had a smoky. <laughs> and, oh, what else? 
yeah it was it's just been a great day it's great to be out here so life is pretty grand